Okay, that noise was just me accidentally smacking my mic around a little bit. Slap at the bass. <laughs> oh man, that was, that was hitting the chords a little bit dangerous. But also this this song made me almost think of just like carry on my wayward son. Hey, look at this! I'm like right next to where I need to go for the mission. It's like Michael knew, and also he cleared out a bit of the map for me. That's pretty nice. So yeah, this is this is definitely the place to be going. So should I go in the back alley for this, or like go up to the front? I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I have to go in the back. Yeah, but Michael, he knew that I was gonna do this. He just knew. What kind of house is this play guy living at? Seems okay, wherever it is. It's not that fancy of a place, but it's not as extravagant as uh, Michael's place, of course. Hey, it's uh, Lester. Yeah, that's what his name is. Lester, how's it going? Fuck you, Lester. <laughs> you gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. He's too paranoid. <laughs> He actually has like automatic doors though, which is pretty good too. Up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know. Yeah, that. that's probably why. He's just like, yeah. And you're gonna make it up to me. Not very good friends with me. Whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so. Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Oh, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you Yeah, this guy's super me. paranoid. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink <laughs> and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an iFind alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag um. and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor hmm. glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. Brother, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? It's a survival I'm a of rob, uh, a Michael, so we'll go who is soon. the fittest. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this guy has asthma then, too. Go to the suburban store in Vinewood. Oh, nice. Now I can actually, like, go and uh, buy clothing, I think. But still, though, like, that seems about right, though. That, like, uh, fits Michael pretty much perfectly, that he can just be, he can pretend to be, like, a billionaire with Asperger's. Because, like, isn't that the type of thing that, like, that people don't like anything done for them, and they're just, like, very, um, I don't know. They're kind of over the top, in a way, for the people like that. They're very, they have a very strong personality. I don't know, like, I... I knew a guy before with that condition. I mean, he was pretty cool. I mean, like, he was, uh, he's the kind of guy that, like, I, at least I can hang around and he's, he's cool with me and all that, you know? I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, see, this is, hmm, what's the easiest way of getting up there? I'd say probably not the way I am on side this off-ramp. You have to go around and up. Still, I need to like look up that condition to see like the proper like what it actually means and all that, because I sort of know with some of, like some of the things that what it is like, but I sort of don't as well. 
But also, I just like to say that I don't like these kind of highway things that, like, are inner... That, like, city highways are, like, just the worst. That's, that's a problem with, like, most cities, like, L.A. and... Well, because, uh, well, I'm basing that off of Los Santos, of course, and just, like, things like that. But as well as just, like, every single city in uh, Canada, it seems like. Because, well, at least you can you can avoid these kinds of roads, well, that were back there that you can't get on and can't get off of. But the roads that there's just, they're very selective. You don't have very much space, to say the least. Hey, a Suburban, nice. Just gonna pull around the side here. The more space, the better, though, because, you know, if there's no uh, center median and all that, then you can just do that, and it's all good. Seems weird just carrying around a backpack like this. Hey, hey guys, don't mind me. Hey, what's up? Hey, that's not very nice. I just wanted to say hello. Oh, it's so nice I can actually uh, walk into stores now, though. Excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't <laughs> lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? Alright. So, this is what all of this. I don't know if this would look geeky exactly. Whoa, this is. Okay, this is definitely the suburban thing. I mean, yeah, he under, he agrees that just like this looks terrible. I don't know, it looks kind of geeky, I'd say. Like. Because this vest thing, I mean, ugh. It's, it's disgusting. Blue Yeti Gillet? Okay, let's. Is this exactly what I have to get? I have to get one of these things. Okay, well, if it's one of the vests, I think that I might want to go with orange blue contrast. Although this looks a bit more geeky and possibly like, you know, it's, it's pretty good too. Yeah, orange blue contrast all the way. Why not? <laughs> this looks terrible. Bye. This looks absolutely terrible. Why would anybody wear something like this? Like, ah, uh, man. I don't think, like... <laughs> what kind of style is this exactly? Because, I mean, I still think that, like... Even if you are a geek, you, mean, you wouldn't wear this. Not even the geeks are geeky enough to wear this. Uh, yes, Michael, Lester? I'm all dressed up. And nowhere to go. The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Alright. Well, that's, that's usually the way to do things as well. Just look like you're important and stuff like that, and then you'll, uh, people won't care about you. And I actually, like, pay more respect and all those things, but... I meant to say, and have nowhere to go, or something like that, because, you know, you're all dressed up and have nowhere to go. It's always the way of things are. Dressing in a suit just to sit at home and eat a can of beans. Because <laughs> everybody does that, right? Yeah. Totally. Oh, this looks so bad, though. Oh, the clothing. It's, like, so unfashionable. So bad. Life Invader. Oh, so I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be the new, uh, what's that guy's name that like, runs uh, Facebook? Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. I was gonna say like Matt Cassian, uh, but I can't. PM's pushing for know, more but functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh my, you know, it's. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. 
You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I was thinking it was just gonna keep making me walk, like, without me having to press anything on the control stick, so I was just like, yeah, let's... Totally Walk for me. A tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. All right, but hi. still, I guess that, like oh, if hi. IT, like yeah, yeah you guys would probably still need right IT out. even if you're working at like oh, Facebook. Um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for. Oh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, beanbags, uh, th those are like so 90s, there you so. Go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been at it um, on this PC. Oh, wow. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I, I wouldn't doubt it. See what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Yeah, pretty much, right? That's why I can't do it. That's why I can't code those anymore. My hands yeah. are free. <laughs> they gotta go. send me on another one of those seminars. What is this background? It's like some sort of, like, elf? You wanna take a break for some air guitar? Give Run the, the antivirus software, okay. And now we scan. Scanning. I wonder how many like viruses we're gonna find on here. It's gonna be like five thousand. Seriously, it it might be why. We'll Exterminate get eventually. And Exterminate. Exterminate. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on. Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. But still, if like, this is just ridiculous. But, like people, like why couldn't he just do that himself though? Jay thinks being a quirky douche boosts creativity. That's a meme right there. He's this close to installing a ball pit. He's become such a cock. <laughs> if what? we don't keep smiling, the cameras will pick it up, file. and we'll be outsourced to Molly. <laughs> wow. Well, this is a we pretty nice uh, workplace. Works place. Let's splice it up. But, I mean, that is basically the job of an IT person, though, a anyway. <laughs> Just, like, do the easy jobs that, like, somebody could have easily done on their own, too. Is this a phone? Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then we put the chip in it, so then we can track them and stuff, right? Oh, okay, so we actually were supposed to leave the backpack hey, there, too? Good to meet you. Let's get some time together. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't hmm. do it without the little guys. Bye now. So, I think that, yeah, that, I don't know, like, I guess that this guy was, that was there, he <laughs> probably <laughs> managed to, like... This Lester guy, he probably just like s somehow stolen that guy's bag and then was able to do things that way. I think that's the way it worked. I sort of want to explore this place more, but. Oh, wait, is this the way out? Yeah, I think it is. There we go. Tech shop, tech shop, yoga zone. Can I go into the yoga zone? Oh, no. I know that I'm supposed to be able to do yoga at some point in this uh, in this game because I guess that probably would be a good idea for Michael. He needs to he needs to get some yoga going. Lowers nerves a little bit because I mean he tends to like to kill people and stuff like that. But that might be partially because hey, of me. Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't I don't ya, Lester? The things what? in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. And hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic yeah. Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes. None of which interest me. Hey, 
I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way yeah, to define American still do. life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. <laughs> anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. All right. Sounds good. But so this is like, so these guys are possibly like, of the Life Invader people. They, they may be like making. Hey, wait, what is? We have a mini. That must be like, uh, what's her name again? I don't, rem I don't remember like his daughter's name. It's like, probably Marianne, I'm guessing. Or Tracy, I think, no, it's Tracy. Who's Marianne? I don't know. But Tracy, yeah, that's that's her name, but maybe that's Tracy's car. I wonder if, like, is she in the back? And I can just be like, hi, how's it going? I just heard a collision. <laughs> Traffic in this game sometimes has that problem. But yeah, like, uh, I don't know, it's... It almost sounded like that guy was like playing Halo or something like that. He was team bagging though. Mine's on fire. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Ow. No! I'm watching Fame or Shame! The fucking tits! The no! Okay, uh, I'm supposed to change. To find Weasel News. How do we... Oh no, I just changed the volume. Oh, there we go. Turn up the volume, all the way. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination! All right. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. <laughs> Pretty much. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not what just impressive, heck? it's revolutionary! And also, probably illegal, I would think. You can't just have a company run by kids. Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness... ...the future. What? <laughs> There's a future, and then... It's all about sex. The Life Invader mobile device. Oh. Okay, yes, so now we've invented something no one else has Where am ever I supposed thought. to be who am I supposed to a phone for this? Personal computerized device. Jay Norris. Now you're going to be able to stay docked. Let's do this. Oh, hold on a second. Fuck you. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello. Hello. Oh! Get security. Ah. Oh Jesus. <laughs> that is no, 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 violent. No, 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 no. Whoa. Oh wow. <laughs> I didn't know it was an explosive. Maybe you should have said something about that, or I guess maybe I didn't pay attention enough, but... Wow! Holy crap! Pop-up's clear. Oh, maybe, like, I'm supposed to... Oh, this is actually a timed mission for this one, too. Hey, we have a maid! I didn't even know that! It's pretty cool. <laughs> I nearly done. Nearly done what? What are you doing? Oh yeah, I gotta phone Lester and then I'm gonna change Lester, clothes. That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. Alright. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. Oh, you can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Oh, now it's probably going to tell me about stocks, but... Okay, outfits. Do I actually have, like, a suit, though? I probably don't. No, not exactly. The fanciest clothing it seems like I have. Oh, I'm just gonna put this on for now. Um, like, shouldn't there be something there? Or tops? Oh, oh, that's terrible. 
So maybe I'll I'll try and see if I can use the slate suit or something like that, or maybe like I'll use a gray suit because that usually that that matches Michael better. But that's that's a bit fancy clothing, sort of, to be using. But also I was checking to see if uh, I always forget her name. I think it's yeah, like Tracy. That she I was gonna see if she was like in there, or if. Nobody uh, wants a fat daughter. I thought we got you over this, babe. What? What is- there's- that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. I ate something funny. It's nothing more than that. Go away! Oh, that's- that's so sad. People thinking that they have to throw up to actually be in good shape. It's called working out. I'm gonna go to the Possum Bees place, it's just like right down the road. Possibly be, uh, I can get a better suit if I need one. Cause I mean, I already look like I'm pretty fancy, but I mean, uh, it's always good to be a bit fancier every once in a while. There we go. Gotta park right up next to the store. Maybe do like a burnout right in front of them. Hey guys, how's it going? So go make. Also, I, I sort of, maybe I should buy the clothes and then rob the store. Ooh, that's a good idea. Or actually, it's probably a bad idea, because who, who actually says that? Customer. Who says How that? Can I help you? Sportswear. Ooh. Oh, nice. I like that. It's uh, not too bad of a t-shirt, but... Because that, that could work very well for when he's uh, playing tennis. Lester, Michael, it might be a good time to start making some moves on the stock market. Here's a link. Um, all right. Buy low, sell high. Sure, why not? I'll, I'll buy like a couple things, just... Oh, so he's telling me to buy this one, probably. Oh, no, maybe not. Like, what is this? Well, I should probably buy into, uh, where's, where's the Life Invader? Because that one, that's probably, the stock on that is probably going way, way down. Browse loungewear? So these are just like tank tops. Okay, that's... That, that white one's like really, really white. Hmm, let's let's go. Oh, I, I thought that that was the back note. Oh, this is a mirror. Okay. Mirrors always make things look so much bigger. He looks so awkward when he's just like looking at his shoes. Hmm, these look pretty fancy. Oh, maybe not. I'm just gonna hurt my back if I'm sitting at this very awkward angle. Hmm. What? Oh, who's this? Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky <laughs> from Life Invader. That's what I, I just know said. you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do is your business, bro. Oh, because they, they anyway, probably tra traced the phone. Jay really got a big phone. head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. So, this is Ricky Lukens? Is he like on the map or what? So I should probably like at least phone him or something, right? What do you mean you can't feel your Heist crew member. Okay, so this is that guy's just like a crew member then. I'm gonna I'm gonna call him anyway though, if I can. Ricky, how's it how's it going, Ricky? Okay, so I do actually have like a few crew members that I can do like in general. That's that's pretty good. I like that because I already have Packy from Franklin. I have this Ricky guy. This, uh, oh, this guy must probably be like a hacker that I'll probably use him for. Although, wait, it says I have two missions, but I don't at the same time. Where's the other mission? Hmm. I'm gonna have to look around for that. Because I, I, it bothers me so much when I don't know what my other mission is. Okay, so you know how I said that I was uh, just going to be uh, pimping out vehicles and all that? Well, while I was pimping out vehicles, I got a phone call here 
that it was Michael's wife saying, hey, something about cops or something. I don't even remember, but let's see if it says anything in the brief or maybe just like something with the dialogue. Oh yeah, there's the dialogue right there. I don't exactly, so there so, appears to be some sort of uh, store detective and I have to help. And I think this is actually the mission thing that like it said underneath Michael is just like, yeah, I have I have like two missions, but uh, only one that's visible. So, yeah, and I have a time limit of getting there in two minutes. So, I don't know. This is really weird because I, I just wanted a free roam. I didn't expect to. Oh, and I also I sort of thought that this was just going to be like some sort of like if this was a mission type thing, I thought it was just going to be like a mini mission. But I think this is actually a full on like legit mission. That's, that's what it seems like. I'm just going to. Oh, it doesn't even say. I was hoping it was gonna tell me on there if this is actually a legit mission or not. Let's let's just say it is, and go from there though. That's why I set up my recording stuff. It's a good thing I didn't take it down as well, because that'd be really awkward. Just um, well, there's a mission here. This is kind of awkward anyway. So her name's like Amanda, right, or something like that? Yeah. What's what's wrong with you, Amanda? So what's happening here? Oh, okay. So they, the top, the cop is just. You know, standard LSPD. Oh, so she's trying to shoplift. I get it. He's got okay. Okay. Hit the gas. Let's go. The cops are still so after us. His entire family is just like a bunch of crooks. Ugh, man. Shit! They're still at us. Chill out. It's under control. Yeah. Amanda, you might be an idiot. They're coming, Michael! But Relax. I I got this. I yeah, I got this. Don't worry. I just gotta find a good like alleyway. I do not want to go to prison! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Now I gotta see like where where they're gonna be coming from. So I have to just keep rapidly tapping down on the D-pad. Just so then whenever I can see, I can see if they're well, maybe Get us out of here! I'm on top of it. Yeah, just like I am usually on top of you in bed. Yeah, yeah. Although there's usually that also go, the trainer go, guy go, too, go. so. Don't uh. worry. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, no. The guy's actually coming down there. Come on. Come on. Come there we go. On. Relax. I got this. See, it's all fine. Is that it? Are they gone? Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on. I'll take you back to the house. Let me yeah. get the keys to those cuffs. There See, you go. It's, it's all fine. Hey, you remember those, Michael's don't here. you? From the old days when you used to do the girl cop routine? Ow. Really? Now? You're a pig. What? Okay, yeah, so I guess don't she doesn't say. like... What? That I have everything I want, so anymore. why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed. Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but... who are you to judge me? Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Yeah, oh, it, can, it can stay there. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. Thank you. They would they'd just be thinking the cop is staying over for uh, a bit of supper or something like that. Maybe. Oh, the good husband. So does it actually say anything else than that, or, or maybe that wasn't that legit mission? I still think I think it was. Oh wait, no, it, it definitely was because it uh, it went down to one of my objective things there. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. I can maybe show. Uh, hey, what is that vehicle there? But I was thinking like while I'm here, I, I could maybe even just show that uh, I have a bullet. GT just sitting there. I don't know why, but I upgraded the tires now. They're bulletproof. Look at this. It's awesome compared to um there. See that pops. <laughs> but anyway, uh yeah, that was just a random mission that uh, should not have actually happened there. Um so yeah, I'll just uh ignore this recording even was existing. Although I'm gonna put it up somewhere, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to uh, 
customizing vehicles and putting bulletproof tires on everything. So goodbye for now. It's honest for fuck. <laughs>